Good morning from Alakhnahara Beach. Can I just show you? Oh God, both my shoes. Okay, this is not what I wanted to show you, but both my shoes, the sole has come off. I'm gonna have to, well, figure this out. But what I'm really excited about is this. Today we have our first sunrise on the North Coast 500. Couple more people camping in this spot. One is a van, one is this really pimped out Land Rover. Really cool. My motorcycle's down there. What's the time? It's 8.38. Oh, it's 8.38. So, well, I thought it was earlier in the morning, but this has been such a glorious morning watching the clouds over here. Last night was actually quite cold and I didn't sleep very well last night. And today is our last day together. Mr. Jeet Bhai, yes. he's on Instagram posting reels, you know, trending type fellow he is. <laughs> huh? And uh, here I am drinking coffee, chilling, not drinking even considering coffee. posting anything because I have no idea what to post. I don't even know where to start telling the story from, you know. What an experience this is. And has look been. at this at, this, at this day when we are ending this trip together, the sun yeah. has come up. The sun is more. coming out. So you are going to have warm. a good time probably. I hope so. Today is the last leg on the NC500. I think realistically, if you're riding in the summer, you have longer days. So you can cover more distance, you can spend more time in each place. And uh, the NC500, you could make it a 4-day trip, you could make it a 10-day trip. There's yeah. just so much to see. You could do the trip 5 times over and yeah. change where you stop each time and it would be camp, fascinating. Camp at different places each time. Yeah, camp at different places each time. There are several routes in the world that people say, you know, you have to ride this and it's really overhyped. To be honest, when I was coming here, I thought that this one might be one of those because everybody talks about the NC500, but it's genuinely it's worth the hype. brilliant. It's worth like the it's hype. genuinely brilliant. I mean, there's so much of this road that runs along the coast and then all these locks, which are lakes, you just keep finding a new lake, new lake, new lake. Each time you Every think, oh, I've seen the lake. best view, there's a better view ahead. Back to slogging it solo. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, man, for You're welcome. Like, all the time. taking the time to travel with me. We've got a long way to go today, more than 181 miles for me. Yeah. At least 180. You've got more. I got more, but I'm, I'm in a car, so I'm yeah. comfortable. That's Stack Poly, or Pollard, however it's pronounced. Beautiful. That one is, I think, Kolbe, something like that. And this is another one that you can trek up. So actually, if you have a lot of time in hand and you're here in the right weather, you could just spend days climbing each of these mountains and catching the view. Come back for that someday without a motorcycle so that we can park a car at the parking at the base leave whatever you have to there take whatever you have to and uh, just trek up with one backpack go camp at the top can you imagine what the view will be like from there Hundred and eighty miles doesn't sound like much distance to cover, but in this part of the world, believe me, it takes some doing. Especially since you're easily distracted by the varied and remarkable views that come your way around every other bend. By this time in October, the days were significantly shorter, and given that I'd afforded myself the luxury of a leisurely start in the morning, I really had my work cut out for me.
all right this is where we part ways nc 500 this way in bhernes this way in bhernes is this way towards dunfermline my home backup vehicle service comes to an end my backup vehicle service comes to an end it was great <laughs> having you around right. man. Yeah, man see you soon maybe in india thanks man see you see drive safe And off he goes. Then there was just one. I'm gonna switch to my Tundra warmer gloves. This is waterproof and has a thermal lining and it is getting colder. It just makes sense to wear something warmer. From where we parted ways, my route along the NC500 was pretty straightforward. Follow the signboards to Apple Cross and find my way to the famous Balaknaba Pass. Now to some, this might sound like a pretty dull and ordinary day on the saddle. But in this corner of the Scottish Highlands, especially on such a beautiful and sunny day, it was anything but that. To add some excitement to this Balaknaba crossing, I am extremely low on fuel. There were a couple of pumps earlier, but today is a Sunday and all of the stores are closed. So they only have the pay at pump option available. And pay at pump for some reason, my foreign exchange card, my international credit cards, Nothing was accepted on those pumps, so I thought I'd just ride ahead and find a different pump where it works, but that still hasn't happened. So now I'm about 20 miles away from Apple Cross, and I'm definitely going to need fuel when I get there. I can only hope that either a pump is open, or I find someone who's willing to pay for me by card, and I can give them cash. These are the kind of challenges that you can never really prepare for. But it's like not surprising if it happens when you're traveling in a foreign country. Cards don't work, nobody's there to connect cash. So let's see how that goes.
Okay, this is the town of Apple Cross. Are we going to get fuel here? Come on. I hope we do. Campsite up the hill. Okay, let's see whether any of these work. Please, one of these cards work. Okay, so the internet is down here, which means no cards work, which means no fuel here either. We're gonna go across Balaknaba on very little fuel and hopefully find fuel on the other side. Here goes. Time to take on Balaknaba. So I ended up doing the coastal route and coming around. I'd heard that was really beautiful. So I came to Applecross through that coastal route and I would definitely recommend it to anybody riding over here. The views from there are just breathtaking. And uh, now I'm going to go back across the pass. Balaknaba means uh, path of the cattle or something like that basically referring to a very narrow route over the mountain so this is a single track we've been riding a fair amount of single track so far so it doesn't seem that daunting but uh, compared to the other roads that you find around here in the UK this is quite narrow and more importantly I mean it's also quite steep at certain points is what I'm told which is what makes it really challenging camper vans and larger vehicles are not allowed down this road they are expected to go through the coastal route, which is what I took to come here. Now to just focus on enjoying this. And uh, hopefully we make it to Loch Karen, okay? Lakhnaba viewpoint, it's 2,053 feet above sea level. What a view from here. It's gorgeous. These are the famous few U-turns. Look at that view. I didn't even think about this and I didn't plan it. But uh, I think I'm doing the route in reverse because I did that coastal loop. But there are these few U-turns on the way to the top that people talk about. I'm doing them in reverse which makes it much easier. But this view is so much nicer when you're looking downward because when you're going up, you'd be looking at this and challenge and all that aside, I think this is a nicer way to do it because as you go around this bend, look at that view.
Oh man. Nothing works. Finally took a chance. Rode way further than I ever intended to. Came to the Kyle of Lockout. Near the Isle of Sky. And finally I found a pump where they say fill up. And then please pay in the shop, which means they will accept cash. Ooh, Sunday in the Scottish Highlands. Twenty-one pounds worth of fuel. That's the most I ever put. It was really almost dry. What a way to end the NC500. I'm gonna go pay this money and then go find my home for the night. There's a lot more to come here on this channel. This was just the first adventure. There's a lot more to be seen in the UK. So stay tuned and I'll catch you guys in the next one.